Hey guys, my name is Sam Snight, and welcome back to Vampire. I, myself, am rolling right into this one from the last one. So, can I... Mm. Hey, come and handle parts! Okay, well. Okay. Uh, I need to report back to Lady Ashbury to get. Oh, hello. Why are you. I don't need to deal with that, so I won't. I need to get back to Lady Ashbury to push forward the story. And also, there are side quests that are just kind of looming. I'm gonna pretend they're not there for a sec. Scoop is asleep right there still. Some citizens have quests for you. If you talk to them, they'll always reward your help. Not with experience. Not with enough experience to, like, warrant me leaving them alive. You know what I mean? They're, like, just straight up not <laughs> what I want. I want massive loads of experience where I can upgrade myself six or seven times as opposed to this once or twice bullshit. I need to... I should have killed the nurse, man. Whoa. Whoosh. How do I get back to the... Uh, oh, oh. I can't kill him yet. I definitely can't kill him. Who are you? Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Goodbye, miss. These were a lot of points. Man, I can't kill anyone here, man. They're all worth good points, but they're all, like... Smart. I can go kill Vampire Lady, though, so she stops talking about vampires, so people start thinking about vampires. If I can silence all the vampire talk, maybe people won't be so quick to think I'm a vampire. That's my thinking in killing Vampire Lady. I like her a lot, but she keeps talking about vampires, and if people keep talking about vampires, and they see me acting Human like a vampire... Blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Kill it, boy! Whoa, 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 whoa. What does four do? Oh my god, this is like rough. Ow. Ow. I'm level 12 now. I'm gonna eat this guy. I'm gonna come, come right out with the claws. Yes, he is. I'm gonna go 
go right for this guy. The game is running bad. Is there more? I think there's always going to be two ads on the boss fight. This guy. <laughs> Probably it for him, honestly. Six hundred experience. Yeah, bring it on, bitch. I could use a, a refill after all that. Huh. Damn. Well, that was fun. Thanks, guys. I enjoyed that. <laughs> now I have a lot of experience. That's the great part about when bosses come at you in this game is... They come at you with the intent to murder you, and you end up leaving stronger. Now, if I start healing people here, will the district go up? I think it will. I want it to, so that's what I'm going to assume happens. Might kill that guy. Ooh. Lady Ashbury, she must be outside. See, that's the thing, unless they're like over a thousand, they're not even worth the trouble. Now, I might go after him. Well, who am I going to? Oh, right, 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 right. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. Wait, I didn't... wait. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you were full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right, say I trust you, but you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. I won't, though. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. Many. Wait. Me first. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. 
It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. Hmm. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Echo, and that you shall remain. So we are Echons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Echon are vampires. But all vampires are not Echon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. Are you an Echon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. Always. I thought them almost gone. But it seemed they have been recruiting. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days. But all fanatics are dangerous. True. It would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. I've been murdering them left and right. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Hmm. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city. Well, it's being ravaged by a plague, Broham. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've I can tell you that one. For a long time, and I've never seen it like this. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. 
But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. It's my maker, probably. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. I'm learning a lot. This the is a lot to take in. Discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. I know this is beyond the pale. But may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. And 27 I shall remain. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds. I'm promising! To skull. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. I'd probably be making those. Run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. I bid you farewell. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. That took like eight minutes. Like, I enjoyed every second of it. I just. Acknowledging how long that took. Okay, so. I get up to my room. And. I could. I, I could. That's so much experience. Good evening, Mr. I'm not sorry. She needs to stop talking about vampires, bruh. Straight up. She needs to stop talking about vampires. I thought I was clear about this. I did her quest. She's done and done. Where's my room? Where is my room? This is my room. No. Hey. Remember when I brought you up here? Oh, here we go. That's perfect. No, 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 no. Alright. Some other time, then. <laughs> hey, scuba.
Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. I'm in chapter three now? Hang on, wait, before I do anything else, where did what's your face go? Oh! Hello, Mr. Sir, you're new. And oh, you're the one I'm looking for. You right there. Good evening. She's gotta go for my own self interest. Everyone's talking about vampires. Vampires this, vampires that. It's like, look, I need you guys to shut up about vampires. And she's a patient. Less medical supplies used. Less people talking about vampires. It's exactly what I need. I need to silence the whispers just a little bit. Never mind the fact that I'm murdered. I really like her, though. That's the only problem I'm having with this, is I genuinely like this. She's just mentally ill. It's not her own... It's not her fault. It's just... Because of that, people are going to get paranoid about vampires after a while. And I can't be having that. So... I know you guys are probably, some of you are probably like, yeah, okay, he's doing his thing, he's doing the Dracula playthrough like he said he would. Uh, some of you are probably, like, unhappy. I apologize, but I did say I was going to be doing this. I stepped on her head. Why kill me, brother? We could have ruled this land together, and forever. At least the Mistress of Dark has stopped following me. The hell is the Mistress of Dark? Yeah, I, I, I did her quest, though. Huh. Well, now I have a shit ton of experience. <coughs> I plan on doing that a couple more times. So buckle up, Buttercup. If you have any suggestions on who I should eat slash drink, let me know. I'm going to evolve really quick, and then I'm going to talk to Dr. Swansea about the blood stuff that I just found out. And now that no one's talking about vampires around here, people won't suspect me as quickly about being a vampire. Now watch, I probably killed the one character that has like an epic ending or something. Okay, I need an ultimate. That's not an option. You create a shadow vortex. That sounds badass. Level 14 required. Okay, so I can't do anything else about that. Um, can I get more? I can get more stamina. I need 14 for that. How about health? I can, I can, but I don't have enough juice. I'm already almost out of juice. Uh, let's let's up these. I can't up the claws. Let's get like one of everything. Why don't we start working towards one of everything? Five hundred. Well, shit. I have an ultimate now, though. Alright, how much did it affect the district? I thought it was healthy a minute ago. I thought it was healthy. That's why I did that. No one tells me anything. 
Okay. What I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to, like, see fatigue. I'm gonna go back over here, and I'm gonna, like, no! I'm gonna start crafting people's, uh, cures. And I'm gonna fix this place up a little bit. See, treatment for bronchitis, I know I need that. Uh, fatigue. There we go. What else? A headache. I need the headache cure. Use it to cure a sick citizen during a dialogue. Oh. How do how do you make the headache thing? He's downstairs. So I'm just gonna walk around in this so I can start curing people so hopefully the district health goes up because this is like home base to me. She has a cold. So I can get rid of that. He has a headache. He has anema or whatever. Anema and cold. I'm gonna go make those two cures really quick. See, I wanna start like you gotta keep things well it's 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 mm, I don't Bad analogy, but you have to keep it like you have to f tend your farm well. You have to keep the crops healthy. I know, I know. The flowers dying. I know. I'm working on that. It needs water. I need this. I need this. And this. Nice. You know, I can get out of serious at least. I would very much enjoy a much more healthy atmosphere around here. I don't want to say that I, I I got her her thing. Good evening. Good evening, Doc. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. This isn't what I meant to do. Are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Not under my watch, nurse. Thank you, Do Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, No, nurse. no, 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 no. Goodbye. Is she healthy now? She's recovering. I want to... Where's everyone else? Healthy, healthy, recovering. I know there's more. There's the new guy. Let's talk to him real quick. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague. Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana, pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Okay, weirdo. So I've talked to everybody here. I ain't talked to nobody at the docks. Uh, so I have one person to meet there, two people to meet there, and I have everyone to meet here. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. It's locked. Okay, so I gotta find that kid.
Mortimer would be the better choice. Good evening, Doctor. Not you. Goodbye. Good evening. I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. You are not a burden, sir. And you have my gratitude. I have nice. to go now. Nice. Trying to improve the... I mean, I need one more cure for the... For, for the... That A word that I... Uh, keep... Oh, I... I mean, I'm fatigue. Do I have one for fatigue already? I'm quite busy. Do you need my... Don't be ridiculous. Then you are lucky that I have to. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I almost definitely am not. I'm trying to take care of everyone so not everyone's running around here sick. So that way, when I eat them, I get more juice. Where is my... Where is my... Room. Also... I heard people say that uh, level 50 is the max, but you can finish this game easily at like level 25. I don't know how true that is. And I don't have the stuff for it. Actually, I don't have the stuff for hardly anything except fatigue. Okay. Now it's time to talk to Swansea. Sorry about that. I, uh,. I like to bring you guys along on my goofy adventures. There's six chapters in the game. Also. What am I in 6,000 experience? Please. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak. But I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu. It's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. But the risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation. I know, but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties. With our minds and your blood, there's nothing we couldn't cure. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. Uh-oh. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I didn't I'm do it. sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. <coughs> How do you know that, and I don't? Sucks. Okay. 
I really don't want to attend my own sister's funeral. Mainly because I might have been the one to do it. How am I supposed to get there if the funeral's I during the day? I would have to attend to my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. But you did it, though. Do you remember that? I remember the other cemetery bridge is right over here. Whoa, five is... Whoa, 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 whoa. That was messed up. I don't know if you guys heard that. But the guy was like, I've arranged to have you buried in the same mass grave as your wife. What a comfort. Speak English, do ya? Ain't no way around this one. I did try. You're not really getting them all that good. Let's. I want to use my ultimate in this video. Shit, I was so close to being done. Well, I'm now level 14, so this guy's nothing. Nom, 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 nom. Huh. Well, that was fun. My dear sister. I don't know if I have the strength. Are we really gonna bury her here? Now? With all of these vampires around? What happens when I do that? When a vampire drinks another vampire's blood? I'm trying real hard here. Nice. All right. So, why, man? Why? Let's use my ultimate. Whoa, that was cool. That was damn cool, actually. I didn't get to see how much blood it uses, though. The only thing. Discreetly attend the funeral. Okay, so how did everyone else get in here? <laughs> how many people are here exactly? Someone tells me Since bad I can't reveal myself to my mother now. I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Mother, why have you come here? This is proving far worse than I imagined. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. 
and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I mean, we commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That sucks, because I did this. Why kill my Mary? And stick her here well, in this cold, god awful place. <laughs> these are the legal requirements for the epidemic, man. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <sighs> I didn't mean to do it. You ate her. If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Something's about to happen. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I wish the tears would come. But I'm empty. And I feel a hypocrite. Let your pain run free, Jonathan. Don't smother it. What you feel is your humanity. Don't be so quick to lose it. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered. And... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How is it possible? Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Friends? Ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. I just want to argue. A religious man. You should know that. This is not about you forgiving yourself. This is for her. This is you telling Mary how sorry you are. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Why do I have creepy vampire eyes, and none of the other vampires have creepy vampire eyes? Just realizing that, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I know. Oh. I'm gonna avoid that if I can. <laughs> I don't want to deal with them right now. Trying to get as much of the story missions. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. 
I'm trying to get as much story mission in this one done as I can. Oh my god, why? Why are there so many? I'm out. Man, I can't handle all this. Shit. Shit. Shit! I funneled them. Damn it! I dodged that though. I think I'm winning. <laughs> that ultimate is kind of great. I can't even see what's happening. I'm gonna eat him again. Can I? He can't see? Why? Is he blind? Because uh, I need someone who's blind. Swamp! Open! Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor, inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. Damn it, I need to mesmerize level right. three. Shit. Alright, well, hey, I learned where he was. Oh, there's something right here. There's a lot of fighting going on right there. A lot of it. And off to church he goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Oh, you're big. Shed your skin. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Who is Hugo? These immortals try my patience with their plans of unsolicited counsel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My eyes and face. Damn it. Nummy, 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 nummy. The power. I'm going to kill this man. This man 
stunned me with his faith. His crucifix. This is not good news. No, it's really not. So who's the big boy? Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, Consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. I've told you once, this is a private concern. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. This dude don't can't take a hint. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I wish I could forget all this. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. I don't think that's going to help very much. Why did it need to load like that? Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. That was a useless place to teleport to. Oh, wait a minute. No, it wasn't. I would like to get... Anywhere but there. I need to get my happy ass out of here and back to the hospital. Everything's fine. Oh. I don't even notice them. Nope. Too cool for school. Damn it, they're still after me. Shit, take out that thing, man. Oop. Oof. Oof. Damn. Oh. Remorse and pain Whoa. are precious when binding you to the earth. 
You. I remember you. Why do you have antlers? Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the lamb. You are our champion. What? Riddles and rhymes. You took my life. Now you insult my mind. Be still, my child. I bring understanding. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the servant of knowing with iron spur. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, my maker's a freaking dope. Had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. I'm gonna... I'll talk to Edgar and then I'll end the episode, but right now I want to do this. Uh... Here we go! What does that do? I don't know what that does, but I have it now. <laughs> We're trying to get one of everything. So that way I have one of everything. Oh yeah! It went up a little bit. Oh shit, it's critical over there. I haven't been back to the docks and a while. It helped a little. It didn't help as much as I thought it would. Alright, um... Where is Edgar? Alright, let's see what he has to say about that. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the guard. Bye. Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. <laughs> what an asshole. By the sacred stone, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. I'm gonna take shit off your desk. Then I'm gonna talk to you. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order, and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. Good! I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. 
You want to restore peace in the hospital again. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies. Here Definitely in wasn't me. Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Ooh. That sounds like something I want to do more than Minecraft. So I think instead of Sean recording Hampton Minecraft, and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. I haven't been in the docks in ages. Okay, so I'm just going to wait right here. You be sure to check in for the next one because we're going to kill Mr. Mr. Boy Man, and I want to see you there.